How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm going to share another haul with you guys. I went to Alta, I went to Kohl's and Ross. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up, keep on watching. I think I'll start with, um, I'll just start with Ross because Ross, I went in there and I always just look in the beauty area mainly, see, you know, what kind of skincare products maybe they have. I'll show you what I got at the Ross. My, my products are in my cupboard and, but I do have the boxes here because I've been using them already. So the first item I got was from Danielle LaRoche. It's the Plant Stem Cells Eye Lifting Serum right here. And let me just say, I found a Daniel LaRoche product in my Ross before, and it was a stem, stem cells serum for the face. Loved it. They didn't have it. I was actually looking for it. I love it. And I would love to get it again, but sadly they didn't have it. I'm actually going to look more into the Daniel LaRoche uh, different times if I can get there early enough hopefully, or just, you know, maybe find something. Notice it said it has Matrixel 3000 here, right on the bottom. I seen that and I was like, what? So yeah, uh, I can't wait to keep working with it so far, liking it. So we'll keep working with it and see how that goes. The next item I got, I never heard of this company or anything, but the bottle even looks interesting because it looks a lot like the Lancome uh, Genesis or whatever that one's called. It's called Progenix uh, Professional Skin Care Collagen Instant Plumbing, Plumping Serum. It's a plant collagen and peptides lift for aging complexes. Uh, it has hyaluronic acid and it plumps up fine lines. So if you can see how the container looks, it does look, look, look a lot like the Lancome. So far, I'm liking it. We'll see how, as I continue to use them, what I think. All right, so let's go into Kohl's. In Kohl's, I didn't know what to look at. I did and I didn't. I was like overwhelmed all over the place. But there was one eyeshadow palette that I really wanted to see if it was there because uh, Cargo, I've never seen much from Cargo in person because uh, my Alta doesn't carry it. I think Alta does still carry cargo. One palette I wanted to look up and see is the one that had you, you had me at Aloha. This one right here. And oh my goodness, when I see the colors, I think that's what really got me the most. Uh, so here's the packaging right here. And it does have that magnetic closure that most seem to have now does come with a mirror. Then inside uh, here, on this part, there is a brush and then there's the eyeliner. And then here's all these really pretty, pretty shades in here. There you can see the colors, look how pretty. Now this is the side that caught me. And then there's like a nice pretty bluish color there. So yeah, I can't wait to play around with that. Okay, and then the next couple of things I just got in there were more skincare items. I have tried one of each already so far. And, uh, this is called Earth Therapeutics Pro Organic uh, Skin Therapy. Never heard of this brand. Uh, it was by one get the other one for half off or something like that when I was in there. Uh, I do see on the bottom here, it has something like, uh, it has um, Korean beauty in here. So it is from, it is uh, Korean masks, uh, which has become very popular. And I think there's at least four, I think you get four in these, a four pack. They're like $9, but I got, like I said, one and then the other, uh, half off. This one's the Vitamin E Moisturizing Healing Replenishing Facial Mask. Vitamin E is a protective antioxidant that naturally replenishes, moisturizes, and preserves skin elasticity. Protected from free radical damage caused by environmental exposure, skin looks and feels soft, smooth, and supple. 
And I had, I did really like this one. So, but I, I actually really like all. I don't think there's too many masks that I don't like. There's only that one that I had, which you probably see my video of the flop of it. Uh, what company was that from now? Something, uh, was I forget. I don't remember now. But anyway, this one's retinol. And I've been using stuff with retinol. Rejuvenating, soothing, revitalize, revitalizing facial sheet mask. Retinol is a vitamin A derivative, derivative uh, that boosts cell turnover and stimulates cellular renewal to revitalize and rejuvenate, diminishing the signs of aging, leaving skin smoother and looking more youthful. So that's this one here. And the last one is Alta itself. So, all right. First thing I picked up, um, well, I wanted, I wanted, wanted, and I I might next time get it regardless. I love Haheva. Uh, this one body moisturizer, it's hibiscus and fig. Uh, it smells amazing. I love it. And I had a deluxe sample size of it and I, I just, I fell in love with it. So I wanted to get the full size. It was like $20. Well, I don't know if it was a full size. I forget what ounces it was, but it was $28. It was quite pricey. And I was like, yeah, no, I think I'll, I'll pass. I'll just hold off and I'll get it another time. Uh, so I did get, um, this tree hat one which I love their scrubs and I've never really tried any of their uh, body moisturizers. So this is 24 hour intense hydrating shea butter, body butter, and it's the Moroccan Rose. I found the Moroccan Rose scent in the body butter and oh my yes, I already have been digging my fingers in there as you can see. Oh, guys, this smells wonderful. Just seriously wonderful. So, and then I jumped on in jumped in, jumped in that pool, that dive, and I bought the shape tape. Everybody's been talking about Tarte, the shape tape. Heard it all over. I've heard many good things. I've heard some bad things. Being a woman close to my 50s, I was a little concerned. Is it going to, you know, whatever my crease and is it going to be a problem? Well, I used it yesterday actually and I was quite surprised and impressed yeah my shade is in what shade is my name fair neutral and uh, I right away though when I first used it I just did a little dot like real quick because I've heard so many say uh, a little packs a punch is what I've heard from so many people. I don't want to like overdo it. So I just put like little dots real quick and then pat it in. I did use my finger. I'm going to try the other different ways that you can put it on, but I mostly like using my ring finger. I just do. Okay. And then when I was in there, oh my gosh, I could have went nuts with lipsticks. I mean, I literally, I swear, I think I had like five, six lipsticks, lip products in my bag. And I was like, Lori, stop. <laughs> I have to tell myself sometimes like, just stop this, you know, because I didn't even go over to the drugstore side. Well, I did and I looked around, but I didn't buy anything over there because I've been buying some drugstore products. And I thought, no, if I'm treating myself, I want to get the products that I've been wanting or wanting to try or in some reference to that, you know, more of the higher end. One product I knew, I knew I wanted to get in the lip uh, section was Too Faced. And I do have some of their uh, La Creme. I have uh, the Raspberry one, I think it's called, the Naked one. I have several different shades and I do like uh, like these ones. I would like to get, I think it's Teddy Bear. I don't know. They have new shades out. should have looked at more of the newer shades and I didn't because well, again, like I said, I didn't want to go crazy. And this is the main one I wanted. And I did pick up Unicorn Tears. I did pick up that one. The reason why I did was because I like the idea that you can change your lipstick and how it looks and everything. And what I have on today, I think I'm going to, I want to top this on it. So I'll show you real quick what I have on my lips today. I went to Urban Decay area and I was looking at some of their lipsticks. Never don't 
No, I don't think I tried a Never Decay lipstick. I had to think about that because I have so many lipsticks, I had to think about them. And I wanted to try try them. Uh, so I was swatching them, and I did find this one color called, I think it's ZZ. I think that's what it's called, ZZ. Oh, it was gorgeous, beautiful. Had this little bit of a shine to it. You know, one of the girls was asking me, you know, did I need any help? And then I was like, no, no, no. I was just admiring that shade, and I was, we were just talking. And she said, oh, there's one in... Um, there, there's one that uh, is a limited edition that looks exactly like that. It's just not, um, doesn't give the shine. And so let me see it. So she pulls out and it's from the collection from Jean Michael. And I don't know how to pronounce his last name. And it, this is in the shade called Expedition. That's the name of the shade, Expedition. So it is a limited edition lipstick. And here's the packaging. That's his... Uh, artwork. He's an artist and everything, so it has his artwork on there. And the only problem I had was at first trying to pull it out. Now, I probably have other shades like this color, probably. But there it is there. And that is what I have on my lips. It is a creamy, I think, matte shade because it doesn't give off too much of a shine, but it's not too flat matte. It feels so comfortable. I am loving it. This has now prolonged me to want to try more lipsticks from Urban Decay. All right, so if you like this color and you can't get this limited edition shade, which I'll swatch it for you here, if you can't get it, oh, I mean, how, oh my gosh. Every time I looked at that, every time I looked at that when I was in the store, I just couldn't help myself. It's just so pretty. You can't get this the limited edition ZZ. I believe that's the color. That's the name of it. That's exactly the name of it. Uh, would be the one if, if you don't want the matte kind of, like I said, it's not flat matte. It's real creamy. I can't explain it. I, I, I like this. I really do. If, if their mattes are all like this, I'd get them too. I wouldn't be bothered. So back to Unicorn Tears. <laughs> I had to get this one. I thought it was so, I mean, when my husband first saw it, he's like, like, really? Like, really, Lori, you're going to get a color that's this blue shade. He, he looked at me. It was so funny when, because I told him I said I wanted unicorn tears. It's there. And it makes a really pretty, like, uh, purpley, purple? purple something. I'm not even sure how to say. I'm going to put this on top of this because you can use it with any lipstick or by itself, but I wouldn't do it by itself. Though. I wouldn't put it on. Look at that. Look at that. It totally changed it. And it did add that shot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, of course it has that on there. That's probably the only thing I probably would have with these kind of lipsticks like that. But the fun of it. Oh my gosh. Does that not look cool? So it lightened it up more and made it more of a lighter pink instead of this bold pink that I had on my lips. I can't wait to play around with it with other shades. I'm curious. Like neuter, neuter, neuter? Is that even a word? Nude shades, some of my nude shades or something. Oh, that is insane. That is so cool. So I am in love with Unicorn Tears. I was at the checkout. Uh, there was one lip product I put off to the side because I was like, I gotta see what my damage is first and we'll go from there. Well, being as it's my birthday month, like some of my points added up and everything. Basically, I paid 53 cents for this lipstick. It is one of the Bare Minerals, the Generation Nude Matte Liquid Lip Colors. And the shade I got was Boss. And I wanted to try one. I didn't want to get too many because, again, you know, you want to try it. Swatching it, it felt nice, but having it on your lips is the real test. I wore this yesterday. 
I'm, I like it. I like this matte too. See, I'm not a big matte person. I'm not somebody that really likes a lot of matte lipsticks at all. Uh, but these matte kind of mattes, like the one from Urban Decay and this, and I believe went well, like there's, or so, there's certain ones. Yes. I don't like the mattes that are so drying. They're irritating. And yeah, I, I, I just don't like certain mattes. So this one's in Boss. There's the shade right there. I know it looks kind of like, oh my God, Lori, really? But it looks really pretty on the lips. It almost gives a little more natural, nice color to my lips. So it's it's really pretty. And then Cinnamon Girl Beauty, Michelle, made me buy this. <laughs> so yes, Michelle, it is you who end up making me buy this little guy right here from Benefit, Live in the California Dream. I, I think it's the name of the shade. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Now the gold over splash, it does come off. So if you're wondering, it does have a nice smell to it though, but it is so pretty. I want to get Coralie's stuff because I know a lot of people like that blush. But like I said, there it is there. Here it is swatched on my finger. There it is there. Gives you that flushed color. It's really pretty. So this is a, a palette that I didn't expect to pick up at all, but I did look at it because I did see some people swatching it. It did look really pretty. And it's the Smashbox Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette. And I got the pearl one. That's what the packaging looks like. It's pretty packaging, actually. Here's the three um, highlights, which like I really, again, need another highlight. Uh, here's one of them. Here's the middle one. And then the very last one on the end. There they all are right there. So I thought I'd give it a try. Lastly, I've been wanting it forever and a day. And everybody and everybody was talking about the modern Modern Renaissance uh, palette from Anastasia. I won't take it out or anything because you all have seen this probably so many times. But I did pick up this palette. I knew I wanted to get it. So it is like right in my colors and everything. And sorry about all the commotion in the background. There's somebody here visiting and I apologize for that. Alright beauty, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and I very much appreciate that. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can again join me each week. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And then also the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That will notify you and let you know when my videos are up and up and loaded and ready to watch. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the world be shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.